Hi there. Hi. Um, I have um decided to um do um sort of like a template or or um a routine, and uh, I am doing this um um one thing at a time, explaining step by step. So um if you were to watch uh the previous uh video or prior to this video, um. It will indicate there the first step, and I, today I'm going to talk about the second step um, of the of the, um, the template that um, I'm trying to build, and we can both use it. Whoever can I um how do you call this? Whoever I could infiltrate with this, um, or I could be a trigger point to this person that um, they could be able to um, go uh, search and and go within. And so um, to just um, refresh a little bit of it, um, I'm not going to mention the first step. Um, hopefully you can watch the video. Um, um, a little refresher before I go to the uh, the, the step number two. Um, I don't have a script, so I'll just go how, um, what goes in my mind, and I will probably, um, just start with that. Also that, um, we shouldn't believe, um, what, you know, what our mind tells us, right? Um, because Satan is a liar. Um, he will always lie, and that's his job all the time, and if we don't believe in that, um, we should, because... The, that's how it is in this world it is he's always gonna be distracting you he's always gonna go in your head and the portal of those um, the portal will be through your mind so if you don't have a clear mind it's not about God it's, it's really really dangerous um, so it is best to filter our mind um, with godly habits or godly thoughts um, then we can distinguish um, um, to do what is right and we always have that um, decision it's like an instant decision you know what I'm going to do the right thing you know what because you know I decided to, um, to follow God so keep in mind don't follow uh, your mind where the, mi the mind uh, goes the man goes so uh, keep that in mind <laughs> Well, that, you know, I should put that as a saying. Where the mind goes, the man follows. So keep that in mind. Um, I just want to also um, add a little bit is, uh, is that um, I, I have struggled too all my life with, um, with how, how I ended up um, um, how do you call it? How I ended up having that peace, oh, peace of mind or joy. Um, it's been a struggle too. Um, I've always loved Jesus. I've always loved God, and you know, I know that I'm, you know, I'm a reborn person. I'm in fact a reborn person every day. So um, each day um, is always new to me. And each day, I always have a purpose. Hopefully, I can infiltrate somebody. And right now, um, you know, my children are my first target, for sure. Um, but that's equally, um, I'm not going to say they're more important. I wanted to inf infiltrate a lot of people, too. And that's my job. And that is what my purpose here in life is. And I wanted to start by just doing this, especially with this coronavirus, uh, folks. I really wanted to also say that um, one thing we should um, keep in mind during this, what's happening is that we need to be um, to be uh, united in this and, and, and spread love and, sorry, I have something in my mind. Spread love and, um, and have a united mind. Going back to that, um, you know, the mind, Right? Because going back to what I just said, that where the mind goes, the man follows, right? So if we do have a godly mind, 
then we'll follow God, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to do the, um, the number two uh, because I didn't sleep last night. So I'm going to um, quickly sleep a little bit more before I start my day. Um, but I wanted to do this just in case because I wanted to put God first. Um, and ideally, I, I am a morning person. I wasn't, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, what happened? I'm so routine. Like I, I would you know sleep the same time and wake up the same time, unless there's like a party you know a party and and I'm very um, uh, open to like you know staying late too, um, but I'll still wake up the same time. But um, um, having said that, I that putting God first is the first thing we need to do first thing in the morning. Um, and you know we have to to say uh, a mantra or or, a, or or an affirmation or 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 something that we can um, um, follow through because you needed a routine and trust me that if if I if I'm specifying yes it is true that you do need a routine because um, the devil is always going to attack you to, to be out of that routine. Because um, if you notice, you you can you can notice how you, you know your day goes. Like you can notice yourself, your feelings, and then don't worry about those feelings. Just try to suppress them because they're not real. They're not from God. They are uh, from the devil. Okay, not all of them. So we need to bombard ourselves, our mind, with godly thoughts. Otherwise. It is easy to to go on that that path. Um, so having said that, like I said, I number two, um, the number two um, step um, is um, acknowledging that God, you know, I will follow you today, and it's like allowing and and just being submissive that you're they will be according to the will of God. Do not try to manipulate it. Have them, like you have your schedule, your, your, you know, your job, and, and you know, you're being a, a mother, a father, or whatever you may be. Um, you can all do that, but I'm telling you, it will not be, it will be a scramble. It will be a mess um, if you don't have that. Um, solidity or stableness um, which you can only get from God and if you don't believe me um, you can do your own search um, through inside you you can go within you follow don't follow your mind because your mind your brain's stupid so just follow this heart go deep within because if you search God will find a way for you uh, to find yourself just keep searching you just keep going deep a lot of people are just so lost and they go uh, searching somewhere else and you have to go deep. Where? Deep inside you. That's the sacred heart of Jesus is what it represents for. We put our petition. We also talk deep um, within ourselves and through Jesus Christ. Okay, so um, if, you, um, if you accept it, Jesus in your life as your savior. God sent his son on this earth to save us, to, to free us from everything, uh, to have a, a joyful life, to have a peace and, and and not be bothered by any by anyone, right? Um so the first thing or the second thing that we need to do is to lift our our hands up. And worship God I don't really pray and do this every day but it will it's a powerful thing to do I've done it and I wanted to do it on a daily basis I do pray I do spend time with God and I do my um, my um, studying I feel like I'm doing more studying um, and I'm not spending time with God and worshiping so putting up your your hands up is surrendering is allowing 
is giving that higher self, that God that created you, is you, is within you. You're not God, but He's in you. You cannot just surrender yourself once a week and the rest of them is you will do your own thing. Um, you have to say that this day is really for Him and you will let Him do things that He would want you to do. So especially big decisions, it, it has to be from coming from Him. And if you're a Christian, uh, again, I'm going to say uh, I'm working to be a Christian. So if you are you're a Christian, you will know um, this because I can discern um, um, people that will or, or, or incidents that will give me some, um, I don't like the word premonition, but some intuition, some guide. Um, it's because the Holy Spirit is, has always been a guide for me and I don't follow any um, advice that especially who doesn't even have the teaching of Jesus in them. There's no, no way that I will um, listen to somebody who doesn't even have a clear mind, a godly mind, especially the teaching of Jesus, who doesn't he did, who did not put time and effort to, to study the teaching of Jesus. Um, I am guilty myself of not able to um, do a, a routine properly because I, I I keep distracted by so many things. I'm not distracted by you know, my phone or, or, or the social media, I, I don't like those things. I only do it um, to connect with my family back home and my friends. It's, it's nice sometimes, when, well, you know, once once in a year, I don't know, twice a year to see them go for a girls' night out. Um, but other than that, I don't really have this every day. I don't think, I, oh gosh, I think uh, for me that would be a waste of time. I do a lot of studying and the first studying that I go, I always put first is God because if you're putting God first you know you know that you know you're all taken care of do not try to find you know money or start your day and thinking about money and you know or how can money come to me you know it's a wrong approach of life in life um, you have to like just just let it be and, and 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 surrender and everything will happen accordingly just let him i i hope that everybody could do this and hopefully that you could watch my uh the video prior to this so that you can get the first step so i'm going to mention again the second step is raising your hand and allowing and letting him uh, control your day and accept that god is not in the church or up up above he's in you gee that's what jesus represents and that's what jesus christ um did so i hope that everybody could do this um and we could all do this in our prayer we don't need to do this together but during your prayer i will do this myself too because i haven't done it in so long i had to be um honest here um and I wanted to be able to do it. So I'll, I guess I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much and God bless.